These are the days that I've been missing Give me the taste, give me the joy of summer wine Hi, my name is Stacy. I'm 25 years old and I'm Jamie Cullum, street team representative for the metro Detroit area of Michigan. We're going to go around to a few different places in the area and see if we can find any existing Jamie Cullum fans and hopefully introduce some new people to his music. I'm here in downtown Royal Oak outside the Royal Oak Music Theater with longtime Jamie Cullum fan Bill. Bill, when did you first hear about Jamie Cullum? Uh, five years ago in college. Uh, All at Sea came out on iTunes and I downloaded it for free and I really enjoyed it, so I started listening. Bill, you actually said you attended Jamie's concert here in 2006, right? That is correct, yes. What did you think of Jamie Live? It was amazing. All the songs were different, and I liked them more. Uh, I thought it would just be like it was on the CD. Uh, Most artists who use piano and different instruments like that are, it gets kind of boring. It's like listening to the CD. With Jamie's, it was like alive and vibrant. It was really cool. Do you have a favorite Jamie Cullum song? Oh God, this is my favorite song. How would you describe Jamie Cullum's music if you had to use one word? Experiential. I know it's been a while since I have talked to you But maybe you're the one who we're here with Jane in Berkeley, and she just listened to Pointless Nostalgic off of Jamie's Pointless Nostalgic CD. What did you think of the song, Jane? I liked it. Um, would you listen to Jamie's music? Yes, I would. If you could describe it in one word, what would it be? Jazzy. Thank you. with Andrea and Nordstrom's. <laughs> We're back here with Andrea who we saw in Nordstrom's while Jamie Cullum's 20-something was playing in the background and I'm just going to ask her a few questions. Andrea, what did you think about Jamie Cullum's song 20-something? I think it's a really neat song. The lyrics are kind of evocative of everything that people do feel in their 20s so I thought it was kind of you know, resonating and it hit close to home. How would you describe his music from what you heard? Uh, generally jazzy and mellow, but definitely there's more of a pop and upbeat uh, background to it, and I really enjoy it generally. What um, type of music do you usually listen to? Oh, that runs the gamut. I listen from every to everything from the Bare Naked Ladies to, you know, Madonna to... So would Jamie Cullum fit in somewhere in between, do you think? Oh, yeah. I definitely, I do listen to Jamie Cullum. Okay. How, when did you first hear of Jamie Cullum? I think I was in London, and it was about 2005. I think I heard him on a radio somewhere while we were either in a hotel or, yeah, probably in a hotel. And it interested you to look a little deeper? Oh, yeah. And you know what? I was in the record store at the time. I was in, um, what is it, Virgin Records in, uh the big store there and it was uh, playing in the background and I think I bought it then and there, his 20-something album. So if you had to describe Jamie Cullum and his music in one word, what do you think it would be? Hmm. Another good question. Um, One word. Definitely, uh, not a word you would probably use, but kitschy. Because it He's got so many, he goes in so many directions. He uh, plays, even though it's a jazz type, he's got so many different sounds. After years of expensive education, a car full of books and anticipation. We're with Sue here who just listened to Jamie Combs' song My Trick off his Catching Tales album. Sue, what did you think of the song? yourself listening to his music? Yes. If you could describe his music in one word, what would it be? Uh, very mellow. Mellow.
How old are you? Two. Do you Two. like Jamie Cullum? Yeah. Never thought I'd regret the excuses that I've made Like a song 